Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Firewatch Day Three. We're gonna be fixing a window and uh, talking more to Delilah about random shit. Uh, Tom Cruise. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? PC? PC? Is, 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 is PC relevant right now? Now this can't be that hard. I mean, it's the 80s. This is real Think talk. Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. This is cringy, dude. Mm, good to know, dear. Yes. I'm literally cringing now, playing this about game. Your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Can you? Uh. Jesus. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? Huh. I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Eesh. Uh -huh. I oh, want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Dude, you're my boss. Like, why are you being so creepy right now? They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Uh-huh. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Ready to work. September 1st, right? that's my birthday, so... Um, yeah. Past days have been kind of, uh, I would say eventful in some ways. Uh, obviously, somebody broke into my cabin, uh, threw my typewriter out the window. Then some teenagers got really weird. I got really weird with the teenagers, stole their whiskey. Uh, then I thought their camp was attacked by a bear. Turns out there's some psycho on the loose around here. But other than that, uh, my socks are hanging off the rope and they're drying. And I'm, quote unquote, ready to work. All right, what do you got for me? Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Mm-hmm. Um... Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. Day nine. <laughs> We're in day nine. That was the best day I've ever had. Eating a sandwich in the. Hello, Henry. Middle Having of the a nice afternoon? Is it the afternoon? I guess it is. It looks like the sun is setting. Uh, yeah, well, I was. Well, I was. Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. What? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. 
Does that mean I'm gonna be investigated or some shit? Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Uh -huh. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I mean, it's worth mentioning. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Why is this so weird? All these conversations I'm having with her is just weird, dude. Like, she's just the weirdest person I think I've ever met. And I mean, I haven't met Henry. her, but, you know... Henry, wake up. Video game logic. And then Henry's just like a full-blown sociopath, Get so... Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay, okay, Jesus. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? Hi, Julia. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? What the fuck is going on right now? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Um... Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. What is going on? It's been a month. I'm so lost at this point. And Henry, I mean, the dude's weird. Which inherently makes me weird. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, Ooh. how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. Right. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. I don't give a shit about your she sister. This job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Delay, I will burn your tower down. Hey, so who's Jules? Uh, th the fuck is going on? I, I don't mean to pry. What the fuck is going on? Excuse me. Where did you hear about Julia? Whoa, hey, calm down, okay? A couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Jules, so I figured I'd ask. Jesus. Oh, I... Sorry. Oh. Uh, I guess to talk about Julia. It's hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because... Well, I, I fucked up. We all fuck up. <laughs> But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive and she's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen... I oh... Oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Hey, there's a long drop here. Her family is taking care of her, and... There's a long drop. I'd like to, to report this right you. now. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. <laughs> that would be me. But I like the fact that I can talk about things and immediately drop the conversation. Especially when it has to do with my wife that has dementia. Which for some reason, Delilah just can't wrap her head around. I mean, she can. But she just keeps prodding, dude. 
all Delilah does is prod, man. It's like she has a thing for me, which is kind of weird already, but then, like, she doesn't stop talking, which is weirder. Also, is this what I'm doing right now? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Uh-huh. Uh... Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even this is if it so means crazy, giving dude. his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. Also, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Well, that's alright. At least I got to be part of that wonderful conversation. You know, the game itself is really good. Uh, I keep talking about the game, but the game itself is really good. It's just, you know, I, I didn't realize it was part of this uh, gigantic cringe fest, uh, which are now known as conversations between Delilah and your boy Henry. Ah, Two Forks. That is me. I want to kind of grab Spruce's stuff. But, um... I don't want to steal, so I'm just gonna play my part here. You guys, you know, you you really need to thank me for this. I mean, that was a lot of self-restraint. I could have just stolen that shit. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Yeah. Who do you think I am? You've oh. got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And... She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Beyonce. <laughs> uh, Delilah's a nice name. Oh, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're <sighs> sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. This is weird. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. The June Fire. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Uh, skinny dip? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I, uh, okay. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just... I thought you were telling me to look at it for, like, an actual reason besides just to tell me that you like the way the fire looks. But, you know. Yeah. 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 I'm glad you're here. <sighs> oh, my wife. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? It's been two months. Uh, we talk about random shit. Sure. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Oh. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well, 
Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. Uh -huh. I wish I was over there. Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Uh, so uh, uh, It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What do you mean? Uh, it'd be nice to be close to someone. Why don't we yeah, I'm just going, go I'm, I'm going fucking fire back inside. And try to imagine all the old dead things. It's Jesus Christ! Away. Put the radio back. I want to go to sleep right now, dude. Delilah's fucked up, dude. My wife is dementia. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Would you say a problem? There was a crew burning fire oh my lines God. out to the east, and um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. A bear. Problem bear. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm totally not cut out for a problem bear. Also, Henry doesn't like nature. I mean, I can relate with that. Uh, nature can be weird and fuck bears. So, I've I've had one bear encounter out here in Colorado and it was kind of scary. Anyway, not the point. What the hell was that? Did I just hear the bear? God, I hope not. Also, do do I drop it or can I actually cast it? Like if I get to a, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that would drop it. That would definitely drop it. Um. That's a real. Should I just swim? Can I swim? No, I can't. Hello? Jesus. This is the lake, right? Oh, is this it? What is this? Is this dew? What am I looking at? No, it's like leaves. Uh, I'm just gonna put this away and uh, figure out my whole map situation right now. Search lakeside for bear tracks. Oh, no. Are these bear tracks? Is that what I'm looking for? Before anything, actually. Let me, uh... Open up this nice cash case. Ooh, what is this? A note. Perfect. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Uh, did you get my note about... Well, we went, we went down to Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigo in Spanish and Professionalis is Italian. Oh, this is too wrong. I keep forgetting that. Dave is the main protagonist of these notes. I just have a really shitty memory. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just copy this stuff down. So I know where, where all the uh, lead trails are. Old sweater. And a fourth estate book. Huh. Richard Sturgeon again. Yeah, lots of Richard Sturgeon fans. Is there anything else? I mean, the cans of food and stuff could be kind of cool. Wait, what's the university here? Eastern Colorado. Colorado. Lots of Colorado things going on here. That's all right. Let's close this bad boy up. Bear tracks. Are these the bear tracks that I'm looking for? Or are these just, like, sprites? Well, there's only a few ways to get around this place, so... I could try the other way. Which doesn't really seem like there is another way. I think these are my only, um, real leads here. So. There's also this way, actually. Which I totally disregarded because it's not on the map. This is off the grid. Seriously, how am I going to fish, though? What the fuck is happening over there? Ooh, what is this? A turtle? What? Hey. Hello. How are you? I can adopt him? Fuck yes, I'm gonna adopt him. I just adopted a turtle, dude. 
Sick! Maybe we can put him like a little tank or something and call him Peter. I can't go that way, can I? No. No signs of bear tracks here. Just a turtle. Sick turtle meme. What is this thing? A clipboard? What? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Uh... What am I looking at here? What the, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? What the fuck am I looking at? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Excuse me? Look at strange noise toward canyon? Why would I do that? What? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, here. you know, devastating. Excuse me? Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Well, can't say Henry's the, uh, Henry? the brightest crane in the box. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? <laughs> Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I dropped it in the river. How's it gone? I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. Wapiti it's Meadow. north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. God I'll, damn it, dude. I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. <laughs> yeah, that would be good if that made sense, Delilah. That's just. You idiot. Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three... Four or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship. Friendship. Our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Yeah. That's, uh, exactly it, actually. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, what is telling this? me? All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. Fuck. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. <sighs> Shit. Fucking I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Mm-hmm. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? 
Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Nice. Um, okay. What the fuck kind of track is this? 